Sicario is directed by Denis Villeneuve, who previously directed one of my favorite movies of 2013, Prisoners and Enemy, one of the most confusing movies I've ever seen in my life. In this film, Emily Blunt stars as a young, lone FBI agent who's seen a lot of dirty stuff in her past, and this time she is asked to volunteer to help aid a specific task force in order to fight against the escalating war on drugs in Mexico, and she goes through hell. In the process, she meets Josh Brolin, who's this very laid-back, cowboy-type officer, and of course, Benicio Del Toro, who you find out isn't exactly the character you believe he is. Now, from the things I heard from Sicario, this could have excited me more. This was going to be a big action crime thriller that really was going to be very captivating. The performances were going to be great. It was directed by Denis Villeneuve, who directed two great movies previously. And in the end, guys, I was very surprised this movie wasn't the action crime thriller that I was expecting. It turned out to be a crime drama with a revenge story infused in it. The movie is, of course, directed by Denis Villeneuve, who is a fantastic director and is able to create very interesting shots that feel like you're in this world. You feel like you're always in the moment. And of course, cinematographer Roger Deakins, who is by far the best cinematographer working today, shot this movie with Denis Villeneuve and it looks beautiful. The shots, the scenery is incredible. And the atmosphere that they build with some of the most incredible blazing droning scores really makes you get a feel of what this movie is going to be like. You get this sense of dark, dreary, just gloomy atmosphere that just seeps through the entirety of the movie. And I think my favorite parts of the movie were when they were actually really going in to investigate certain stuff. And of course the opening scene which knocked me flat. The opening scene I think is the best part of the movie for me. In all honesty guys, I found this movie to be slightly disappointing. My big issue with the movie is the overall story. It just felt too simple. It felt like a story that was just, hey, drug busting. That's really what it was. And there was a little bit of a revenge story just infused with it. And I felt like the overall story just was very lacking. Also, there was really no hope in this movie. This movie suffers from what the movie Man of Steel suffered. That there was no hope. Everything felt too dark. He didn't really need certain things in that movie. And there was no real hope. There were no great scenes where you could look back and say, you know, that was, that was a great scene. I thought that Emily Blunt was fantastic in this movie. I thought that her role was very good. But towards the end of the movie, it really didn't feel like she was the main character. You felt like Benicio Del Toro was more of the main character. And the story was really centered around him, which I didn't really like. Because it looked like Emily Blunt was going to be the main character. And when it was revealed that it was going to be somewhat of a revenge story infused with the movie, I just didn't think it really needed to be there. There are certain things in this movie that I think just didn't need to happen. I enjoyed the fact that Benicio Del Toro really stole the show for a vast majority of this movie, but when it really came down to it, he was just a man looking for revenge. And I just didn't think that needed to be there necessarily with the story. Overall guys, Sicario does have some great scenes, but in the long run, there are scenes that are stretched out a little too long and they feel a bit boring. And I really hate to say that about this movie because I had such high hopes and the first 30 minutes really set me up for an incredible movie that I thought was going to be coming. But instead, there's this long segment that I think really could have been like 5 to 10 minutes long. Instead of being, I think it was about 30 minutes long, which is a fourth of the entire movie. It would have been a lot better. Guys, Sicario does have great scenes. But in the long run and the overall story, when you really think about it after the movie, it feels very simple. I wanted a more complex movie. And I think that it has strong scenes, but in the long run, it doesn't really escalate to a great movie. I thought it was good, but it wasn't great. It was very lacking. So guys, I'm gonna give Sicario a B plus. I do think that there was a ton of amazing action sequences that were very short. I wanted more. And I wanted a more complex plot with this movie because it was just too simple to me. Guys, what'd you think about Sicario? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Are you somewhere in the middle? Well, guys, as always, I would love to hear those comments, so send them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned.